So what happened this week? What happened this week? Well, we had our meeting. Yes, it was very successful. Mm-hmm. No? No. Oh. Uh, however, the people who showed up, some of them I was surprised about, and then the person who didn't show up, I was surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because you would think. The person that was they called the meeting didn't yes. show up. And uh, All right, so let's. So who showed up? Uh, Roger. Roger. Burke, who was hiding in the dark before anyone else got there. Right. <laughs> and Sam. And Sam. And then Malloy was just missing. Mm -hmm. So they were waiting for him. They called his house. He was not anywhere. Mm -hmm. However, Roger, I feel Where like... Where did we see him last? With Roger, no? Yes. Telling Roger to... He went to Collinwood to make sure that Roger showed up yes. to and the he... meeting and then he said he was going home. And then he told him, <clears throat> he told Roger to leave at 10 to 11 to be there by 11. However, Roger left um, way before that. Not way. We leave at like 10.30 or something. Something like that. I can't remember yet. Yeah. So he left early. So, mm -hmm. interesting. Why did he leave early? Why did he leave early? Don't know. To capture Malloy and keep him as hostage. Just in case. In just, in case just, somewhere. In, <laughs> just in case he got into another car accident and he had to, mm. you know, deal with that again. It's sometime. He had to check the bleeder valve, make sure that the bleeder valve was still in his car. Right, It's right. very time consuming. Oh, or also... You can never tell really what time that clock says. So he probably right. thought it was 10 to Right. The hands it on it are not. so thin and the background is so... Busy. 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 That, that, yeah. That you cannot, every time they, unless they like zoom right in on the the clock, you can never tell. And so I think People are looking at it and he's like, I don't know what that says. <laughs> I just better go now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't want to be late. <laughs> so Malloy didn't show up to the meeting. Apparently. They waited around for a while. Mm -hmm. Burke wanted to wait longer. They called him several times and there was no answer at his house. And Burke wanted to wait longer and longer and longer. And Burke left and went to Malloy's house and came back and he wasn't there. And Roger and Sam were just like, wow, we're going. Yep. We're out of here. It's ridiculous. Poor Burke. He was so close. So, so close. close to getting it all out in the open. And yeah. then... So Bill Malloy away. had to just go on flake, vacation, flake out on him, <laughs> change his mind, whatever. Well, we don't know. We Take don't off know. to Tahiti. It's right. a magical place. <laughs> it's a magical place. <laughs> so, so the next day, everyone was asking around, and he didn't show up to work, and mm -hmm. and you had a theory. Did I have a theory? Oh, that what's his name? I just forgot his name. Roger. Roger. <laughs> I don't know why it's gone. Um, that Roger has him held captive somewhere, probably like a deep pit with a <laughs> just like sprinkles food crumbs down there for him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just crumbs. <laughs> yeah, just crumbs. <laughs> he used to catch him in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like a long straw that he pours water down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that ridiculous, but that was my theory that Roger took him somewhere to hide him. Mm -hmm. However, by the end of the week, that maybe seems not so likely. Mm -hmm. But Sam was in, Sam was at home. Who was talking to him when he like wrecked that painting? Was it Maggie? I forget who was there. Someone was at his Must house. Have been. Yeah, I think it was Maggie. He hasn't really talked with anyone else, has he? Mm -hmm. And so then he like threw paint at the picture, the painting of Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Bur Bur this Bur picture Bur painting. Birkenstein. <laughs> Birkenstein. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. the first charcoal sketch he did looked exactly like, mm -hmm. but this one is just <laughs> looked like Frankenstein. <laughs> so that's good, probably a good thing that he ruined it. Mm -hmm. um, this wasn't the one with the paint with the charcoal painting that David ripped up, was it? Or was that last week? I can't remember. Yeah, David had David. a had a painting of or a charcoal sketch or whatever of uh, of Collinwood that we saw in an early episode. As a as a sketch that Sam had done, but then they just reused the prop and said, "Oh, this is David's now." Mm -hmm. And said it was like childish drawing, but it was not childish. Drawing. So, yeah. Anyway, apparently, oh no, that must have been last week because she showed it to Roger, and he was uh, David right, was mad yes. and then ripped it up. So never mind, just ignore all of that. Um, <laughs> so then that we at the point where Victoria and Carolyn. Kind of met out at the 
Widow's the Hill. Widow's Hill. Mm -hmm. And chatted there, and then they went back in, and David, well, presumably David, had written Death in Victoria's Mirror, so she confronted him, woke him up, woke him up, and had him come <laughs> and wipe it off. Um, and then Carolyn realized she had lost her watch potentially out there, so she and Victoria went to go find it. Mm -hmm. Did they find it? Found something. What'd they find? A dead body in the water. A dead body. Oh, could have been sleeping. Sleeping could have face been down sleeping, in the water. <laughs> sleeping body in the, the water. Who's the dead body? Is it too easy to say it's Malloy? I don't know. It seems easy, but it could have been. I mean, Sam's been having lots of issues, mm -hmm. lots of demons in his life and drinking. And so he could have jumped off the hill and could mm -hmm. be him. Could be him. Um, could just be some random stranger. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> yep. To add suspense. Um, a, a mannequin. <laughs> Is that everything major? I think so. Oh, our favorite moment of the week. Favorite moment of the week. When Roger went to give Burke back the pen and he didn't have it. Did he say <laughs> so, something about forgetting it or something? He said... For, <laughs> I don't know what he said. I can't remember. But he was, yeah, when they were at the office at the meeting mm -hmm. that didn't happen, or well, didn't happen with Malloy... Um, they mentioned him giving the present and Burke pretended he didn't know. He's like, what? Oh yeah, that. I forgot about that. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And he's looking and he's like, well, I seem to have forgotten it. <laughs> so was that on purpose or was that a It seemed to be like he should have had it and he didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> I Oops. was in a play and I had that happen where I was supposed to have a prop in my pocket and forgot it and had to mime it and pretend <laughs> that I... Do you like the Have, sneaky Passover? Like, yeah. oh, here it is. Just put your hand right on mine so no one <laughs> yeah, can see. Yeah. yeah, so that was uh, that was a scary moment on mm. stage. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so right. we'll, what, uh, we'll see who the body is. What are your predictions? Uh, like I said, it's either Sam or Malloy is my guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, more likely it's Malloy. Elizabeth's very worried about him. I think there's some sort of love there, whether they know it or not. Oh, maybe. But if he's dead, it doesn't maybe matter. Maybe anyway. it was a lover's quarrel. Maybe she threw him off Ooh, the cliff. Oh, <laughs> now we're getting into it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We'll see. Right. Okay. 50 episodes down, guys. Ooh. We're getting there. Halfway to 100. Mm hmm. <laughs> see you at 100. Bye. Or 55 next week. Yes. Okay. Bye. Like we can barely remember what happens in a week, let alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 50 <laughs> yeah, we, episodes. We have to do this after every episode from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.